let's focus in. This is the social selling show. Let's focus in on LinkedIn. Now, I mean, you talked about it before we clicked record, so maybe I can add some insights on this, but it seems, Daniel, this social proof on LinkedIn is malleable. We can game the system. We can have individuals who post one thing and then there's 50 comments underneath. There's 200 likes, yet something's going on and something's a bit suspect here. How do we know when something uh, isn't quite as it seems? So, Will, we were talking offline and even I was a sucker. I'm usually very good at spotting um, machines, bots and things like that. But there was actually someone we were just talking about that actually only recently did I realize what was happening. Now, I can honestly say, hand on heart, everything I've done and achieved on LinkedIn is 100% pure and organic. I genuinely don't know a lot about any of these things that exist out there. The, the only big thing I've seen recently, which everyone knows about, are LinkedIn pods, which tend to be a group of often 10, 20, 30 people in a messaging pod that then you know have to like and comment on everyone else's posts when they go out. But what, you, what we were just talking about, and I just realized is, there are now these like mega pods that probably exist off, you know, offline from from LinkedIn. But these mega pods are now, you know, multiple hundreds of people that are engaging in people's contents to really game the system to make it look like these people are hugely successful experts in their industry. And the reason it took me a while because I would I wouldn't read the comments, and it was only a few yeah. weeks ago I started to actually, John, oh, I'm going to read some of these comments. And they were so bland and generic that you could tell instantly that person hadn't actually consumed that bit of content and didn't actually get any relevant value. And it's just the wrong audience, Will. There is no benefit to the person who's getting all this engagement because they're not going to buy from them. There's no influence within it. Um, and it just creates this false image. So, yeah, scarily enough, there are bot systems. I'm not sure if you can buy followers on LinkedIn. You can, the, yep, for sure. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> Well, that's an even scarier. Again, it's that false. I mean, we all know it like with Instagram. We've seen Instagram influencers with hundreds of thousands or millions of followers, and then they try and sell something and no one buys it. Mm -hmm. You can build a huge audience of the wrong people, and it's going to give you no benefit apart from make you feel good for all the likes you get on your posts. And it's the same principle with LinkedIn. You buy these followers, you buy these pods. You know, Yes, they might give you tons of likes, and it may make you look like you're I don't know, famous to an extent, mm -hmm. but there's no business benefit. And so for me, that defies all logic and rationale of either spending your money or investing any amount of your time in something that isn't going to result in a, a genuinely positive outcome.